previously on 60 Parsecs. I got off to a confusing start with Emmett. Did I lose two crewmates? I d it took away everything from it. Are you kidding me? After all, this was my first time in space. But I managed to get a shovel and a cow statue with me, so I think I'll be alright. However, this space thing was more complicated than I thought, with many big words and brain requiring tasks to handle. Find the handbook. Handbook? Where ta heck is a handbook? <laughs> and on top of all that, we apparently have a bomb on board! I might have just killed us. Ah, uh, just my luck. Do you think the crew can figure this out? Or will they all be blown into oblivion? Find out now on 60 Parsecs! We are experiencing minor technical difficulties. We are completely deaf and blind. I cannot pinpoint the origin of this malfunction, but I am registering an intensifying tonal signal. Captain, it's a bomb! The countdown will be over soon. Do something, Captain. Uh, I don't have armor and I don't have a gun. I can't do anything! Are we dead? Did I just kill us? I might have just killed us. Oh, we're alive. Oh my god, nobody looks well. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Doing nothing about the bombs exploding in cabins is, of course, a valid scenario. If you have a death wish. <laughs> I know that the computer is basically insulting me at this point. You clearly did. Sadly for you, the bomb had non-conventional payload. Instead of a big bang, there was only silent hissing of leaking gas. It did no harm to the shuttle, but judging by your loud coughing, it might be toxic to humans. Crafting completed. New items available. Soup. Yeah. You look sick, Captain. I'm unable to diagnose your illness right now, but I believe the doctor's orders would be, take some medicine, first aid. Could be of help. Tom is sick. Okay, so... Do I only have one? Or can I can I give both of them a med kit? I only have one med. Shit! I have to choose Bucket Man or Emmett. Ah! I mean, Bucket Man is kind of useless right now. He's not really doing anything, but he's Bucket Man. Man, I like him. <laughs> right, that's why I chose him in the first place. But he doesn't have the bucket to be fair, so maybe he gets to be thrown out. Alert! A star just went supernova in this quadrant. Huge gravitational waves will reach us soon. Space-time will stretch and contract. Gravity will flu fluctuate greatly. And most importantly, I will weigh up to three tons and transmit slower. The ship's hull should hold, but the things inside are much squishier, human bodies included. One of the Albert monkeys shot into space never regained his normal density after a similar wave, remaining light and very wind-dependent wind till the end of his days. You need a plan on how to survive. Uh, I guess agility is the best choice, because I'm not that strong. Oh god, okay, who do I save? Do I save... Emmett? Or Tom? I'm sorry, Tom. But I think I might have to go with Emmett this time. Tom, please be okay. Tom's smiling though, <laughs> so, you know? <laughs> but he doesn't look fine. You secured everything tight, then turned off the ship's gravity to let the waves swipe through with minimal interaction. Then the gravitational waves hit. You saw the hole stretch and contract as if it was bubblegum in some cosmic brat's mouth. A screw started coming loose in the window. You drifted towards it shakily, bumping into a can of soup. It followed the wave, stretching further and further, then burst. Red tomato soup, a moebas, reached the wall with an undignified splat. You secured the window just in time. Shoot. <laughs> this ain't going well. Let's see, Tom still looks ill, yeah. You feel much healthier today. You feel vigorous, Captain. You look healthy. My data shows humans in a good physical state perform their tasks significantly better. You are getting quite hungry, Captain. Tom reported being glad to have you as his captain. He's loyal, even though I basically killed him just now. <laughs> Tom is hungry. Megan is asking for rations. Oh god, wait, I only have three rations now, mate. My, <gasps> I can craft a med kit. Do that. Yes, 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 yes. Craft a med kit. Good. We need to save him. He's loyal for once. He's loyal. Oh god. 
Is that gonna take three days? Okay, okay. Let's craft a medkit for now. Let's focus on that. I think that means it'll take three days to get done. Captain, our systems are working below their optimal levels. I was able to determine that our wiring might be at fault. I suggest you take a look under the proverbial hood and fix the wires before a malfunction occurs. The wires are stuffed in a dark corner, tangled and dusty. You will have to figure out how to fix this by yourself. I trust your instincts, not that I have a choice. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, I think the fair thing is to give him soup and the other soup. Because I took the med kit, the least I could do is, you know, give him soup. <laughs> And the thing will be done in like four days because I'm fixing another soup for myself first. Damn. Make a friend. What? <laughs> oh my god, how did I get so hurt? <laughs> Are you okay, Captain? Your frizzy hairstyle tells me you just got electrocuted. Perhaps you shouldn't play with wires if you're not agile enough to avoid getting shocked. Oh uh, no. <laughs> I'm afraid that burn won't heal quickly. I suggest using medical supplies if there are any to spare. Just be more careful next time. Scrubbing you off the shuttle walls will not be fun if something goes wrong. Crafting completed. New item available. Soup. You are badly hurt, sir. Please consider crafting a first aid and treating your injuries ASAP. It won't get better on its own, I'm afraid. Tom is asking for soup. Oh no. Tom is not asking for soup. April thinks of you as a friend. April, you good person. <laughs> right. Wait, wait. Crafting unavailable. System disabled. Please come back later. Have a nice day. <gasps> no. No. Wait. Oh, God. Wait. No. Now I need two med kits. Oh, my. This is not going well. <laughs> Let's start off by giving you food. Okay. Cool. Ah. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Shit. I'm getting kind of worried now <laughs> with the med kits. Ah. Okay. Captain, something's not right. There's an uncontrolled power surge in the crafting module. I cannot do anything to stop it. This is no accident. It's sabotage. Someone needs to fix it immediately, or it's going to blow. Hurry! Uh, April, I trust you. You're my friend. You go for it, April. <laughs> I trust you. April to the rescue. Thank fuck. <laughs> All right, that's fantastic, we survived. Her swift action saved the day and the sabotage crafting system. Who could have thought all it took was unplugging the power cable? <laughs> the crafting module needs to restart, but it should be up and running tomorrow. Captain, stay alert, this may happen again. Shoot. Okay, I still can't craft anything and both Tom is sick and Emma is hurt. That's fine. You stopped complaining about rations, finally. You seem alert, Captain. I commend the way you've been taking care of your mental well-being. You should know that peak mental condition means increased efficiency when it comes to performing tasks. Megan is doing well. Mentally. <laughs> okay. Sanity alert. Oh, no. Oh, no, Tom. <laughs> okay. So, uh, these guys' sanity ain't doing that well. That's not good. <laughs> uh, can I craft yet? No, it's gonna work tomorrow. Okay, we'll start. We'll fix med kits for you guys soon. All right, don't worry about it. Captain, wake up. We're approaching some sort of celestial body. It resembles a moon, but I think it's a small planet. Let me run a quick scan. 98, 96, 98, 100. Scanning complete. I was right. A small, rocky planet with no organic life forms. But there's a lot of movement down there. Strange. My scanners detect some structures as well. Buildings or even cities. Uh, Captain? If you want to land on this planet safely, you will have to fix up a small malfunction with our steering system. Since we're not even able to turn at the moment. Oh, and you will have to do it before we float away from the planet. Hurry! Uh, book. The book might explain something. I don't see how a lighter would be able to help us with this scenario. Right, let's give uh, Megan a sock, uh, and we have no food. So let's hope we can land on this planet and we somehow find soup. Okay, we're alive. Goal failed. Investigate the source of the mysterious transmission in outer space. Oh no. Uh, goal achieved. Find an appropriate landing spot. Goals updated. Check the goals. 
Oh no. Eh. Mm. Eh. You flip through your trusty handbook looking for some kind of manual. Or at least a how to land a spaceship for dummies chapter. Not sure if it was your fast reading skills or pure luck, but you opened the book on the right page. Following the instructions, you, rec you reconnected some cables and steered the shuttle towards the ground. It was not a soft landing. Nobody is g doing great after this stunt. Not even me. I'm shaken to my cause. Yes, all of them. <laughs> Your face had a pretty unpleasant close encounter with the, our communicator module. And at least one of these things is useless now. You're saying my face is useless? <laughs> Consider fixing it if you want to avoid radio silence in the future. What's next, Captain? Maybe you could use the information I found while scanning the environment. There are robotic units not far from here, but my scans detected a very a few aggressive signatures. I think these are peaceful at automatons. Perhaps they can be of help to you. And in case you perish, at least I'll have company. So it's a win-win situation. The shovel broke, I think. Yeah, I did. You remain hurt. April is still your friend. You are not really complaining, but I know you're hungry, Captain. Megan is asking for some soup. We don't have any soup. <laughs> so we physically can't get soup. Okay. Now, I'm just gonna quickly start making a med kit. Because I know there's need. Right. Captain, the expedition module is in the back of the cabin is now available. My advice? Order someone to put the spacesuit on and send them outside. We should explore our surroundings carefully. Who knows what dangers await outside? One small step for Astro, Astro Citizen, one giant leap for whatever is left of humanity. Okay, cool. So where's my expedition module? Ah! There it is. Tourist information. Chance for... Battery? Sure. Uh, I mean, I think April is in the best shape. I don't think Tom is ready to go, but I don't like Megan, so I could send her out. <laughs> yeah, I'm sending Megan out. <laughs> Shoes equipment. Uh, well, a spacesuit. I I guess she's getting that automatically. Uh, you don't need no equipment, Megan. You're doing well. You don't look alright, but you're doing well. All right, I think we're good to go. Yeah. End the day. Crash land on the planet. Yeah. Oh no, Tom. <laughs> Not enough supplies. Send one of your crew members out on an expedition. Megan left to check out the most logical location to visit. Let's fi hope she finds something more than dusty brochures and tacky souvenirs. You are still quite alert, you are still hurt, your stomach feels rather empty, Captain. Tom still looks ill, Tom is asking for more rations, Tom is definitely weak, his state is critical. Captain, consider crafting a first aid kit and sharing it with him. Unless you want to be one crewmate short very soon. I'm doing it right now, it's gonna be in uh, two days. Oh no, 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 survive for two more days, man! Two more days, then you'll be fine. Alright. I have a bug, Captain. I don't know who modified my code, but the consequences could be devastating. You need to open up my back panel and perform an emergency fix. How will you do the approach? With intelligence, in fact. Alright, I don't have any soup and the machine is currently busy, so yeah. I'm sorry guys, but there ain't gonna be no food today. Oh, I'm not doing well either. Goals updated. Check goals for details. Yeah, I'll do that in just a moment. I want to see. Is he still? He's still loyal. That's nice. Is is she still my friend? Hmm? She's still my friend. Yay! And I'm starving. Oh God, he, he's just hungry. She's hungry, and I'm starving. Oh no! That's not good at all. That's not good at all. <laughs> right. Uh. 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 What was it? There. Uh, you you access the sabotage processor and fix the issue. You sure are quick with those ones and zeros, Captain. We still don't know who committed this sabotage. Perhaps the enemy is closer than we thought. Captain, watch your back. Someone in the crew is trying to get us. Well, you. Killed. 
Oh, no, wait, is that a traitor in the crew? I mean, Megan is gone, so it can't be her. And it was her that was the bitchiest of the people, so I was... No, is that actually gonna be an imposter? <laughs> is it gonna be Among Us? Straight up, mate! Let's see. You are still very mentally un mentally stable. Well, that's good. Tom remains sick. Tom remains weak. Tom needs soup. Megan is still away. You are starving, Captain. April is alert. That's not much I can do right now. Once that's done, I'll craft some soup for all of us. Make a decision. Let's see. Captain, we were able to detect transmissions of an unknown origin. Unfortunately, the communication consoles was damaged during landing, and we cannot make anything out of them. Or reply, for that matter. We could hardwire a primitive field communicator to bypass the damaged subsystem and access the shuttle's external transmitter and receiver. Yes. I, f I feel very too low intelligence for this game. <laughs> like, it has so many like smart words and I'm just sitting there like, yeah, I totally understand you. I'm sitting there like a question mark. Nobody looks okay. Goal achieved. Fix the shuttle's communication system. Goals updated. Yay. Great success, Captain. The communicator attached to the communications console worked like a charm. I won't judge the aesthetics, since we can finally receive an answer transmission. Now, all we need to do is wait for someone to contact us. Someone will find us, eventually. The crew was visibly ex excited by this incredible feat of engineering. They were only slightly smirking while looking at the patched communication console. Tomorrow will be great, Captain. You're still starving, sir. You won't survive long if you don't eat something. You are still hurt. Tom appears to be weak. Tom is still loyal. Megan is, hasn't returned. April still considers you her friend. That's good. Crafting completed. I got him. First aid care. You are in poor health. You look weak, Captain. It's only downhill from here. Consider patching yourself up with a first aid kit. Tom is starving. Try to find something to eat. Okay, right. I'm gonna start off by cooking some, by crafting some soup. Yes, a strange new world. At least she's still smiling. I'm thinking he's been waiting the longest to be solved and he has the same amount of problems as me, but nonetheless, I feel like he needs help more than I do. So I'm probably gonna give him the med kit first. Captain Ellis, a pair of robots are men Mendeering towards us. <laughs> Don't know what that word means. <laughs> they are facing each other and appear to be fused at, at the hands. One is a large hulk dragging the other, which is smaller in stature. Could this be a parent child pair? A big droid thuds along on one leg after the other as if low on power. Do you wish to charge the big robot, feed the little one, or leave them to their fate? Well, I can't feed them, and I, I want to help them, so I'm going to charge the big robot. I'm going to give you a med kit, mate. There you go. Done for the day. Perish on a planet. Wait, what? Who died? Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> so, at least, at, at, at least he looks all right. He's loyal to a corpse, and she's a friend to a corpse. And I'm dead! Oh god, no! You are dead, cause of death, starvation, what a bummer. I just got soup! <laughs> you lugged a battery over the to the Robo Rent Robo Rent and Robo Kid, who were slowly trudging past the shuttle. Once you plugged the unit into the father bot, it straightened its back and sprung with energy. The hulking machine bowed in thanks, and with renewed energy, picked up the weak little robot next to it and sprinted into the distance. I hope their journey isn't one of those fatherly character-building exercises. You are still facing starvation, Captain. Eat something. I think that's a bit too late. <laughs> I think it's a little bit too late to be telling me to eat something. Tom still looks starved. Megan is ex out exploring. April is still starving. But hey, we got some food. Oh. Oh, it doesn't let me continue if I died? Come on, I want to see how it went for my team. Ah, oh, shit. Well, um, who knows? Maybe it went better for them. <laughs>
I mean, we at least know that uh, Emmett did not survive, but uh, maybe Bucket Man and April will survive on their own, and Megan will be doing whatever Megan is doing. Yeah, we found a small metal box in the oh. 